Hello everyone, my name is Larissa Talim. I'm currently pursuing my Master of Science at, in the Department of Biological Sciences at the University of Alberta here in Edmonton, Canada. The poster I was originally going to present at the 2020 IBA conference was a proposal of my master's thesis. But now that the conference has been postponed a year, I'm able to share some of my results as well. My thesis involves investigating the spatial ecology of just one of the 19 subpopulations of polar bears. The Davis Strait subpopulation is largely understudied. Just a handful of papers have actually investigated it. Part of this is because we don't actually have a lot of data on the subpopulation. Being that Davis Strait is located so far north, it's quite costly to get there in order to do extensive field work. Additionally, this subpopulation doesn't have a very high harvest rate, so getting people interested in funding it can be quite difficult. But in 1991, Dr. Ian Sterling and Environment and Climate Change Canada went out and collared 30 polar bears within Davis Strait. The data set covers just 10 years from 1991 to 2001, giving us a short glimpse into the life of this subpopulation. So my thesis involves using that data to understand their general spatial ecology and more importantly, their habitat selection. While there are many studies that have looked at the habitat selection of other subpopulations of polar bears, they've actually proven that each subpopulation selects for slightly different sea ice characteristics. In other words, they each have different habitats. For a species whose habitat is so at risk of changing because of climate change, it's important to understand the exact habitat characteristics for each of the subpopulation of polar bears. In addition to the polar bear data set that I'm working with, I've also been given access to Northwest Atlantic harp seal data during the same time period. This was given to me by Fisheries and Oceans Canada, so this is a very collaborative project. Harp seals are one of the primary prey species of Davis Strait polar bears, as opposed to ringed or bearded seals that other more southerly subpopulations depend on. I will be investigating the habitat selection of harp seals as well, which will allow us to analyze the overlap in habitat between both polar bears and harp seals within Davis Strait, effectively analyzing overlapping habitat between predator and prey. We have already done an extensive analysis of the sea ice within Davis Strait. And right now we're working on creating our habitat selection models for Davis Strait polar bears. For this, we're specifically using resource selection functions. Next, we'll create resource selection functions for harp seals as well, and then analyze the overlap in selection between these two species. Eventually, we hope to use existing sea ice models to project where the overlapping habitat might occur in the future. With climate change driving a reduction in sea ice across the Arctic, our main goal is to understand where this overlapping habitat might occur in future scenarios. Presenting this work at the 27th IBA conference this year gives us the opportunity to connect with other bear researchers across the world. We hope to learn novel ways of analyzing spatial data, and we hope that our work offers insights to other researchers as well. Connecting researchers with common goals, like conserving bear species across the globe, is an important aspect of science. If you're interested in learning more about my study, I'm excited to share my poster with you at the 2021 IBA conference in September. Until then, stay safe and take care.